What's up, y'all? I'm at the beautiful Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. It's about 50 square miles. It's a mile high in elevation, and it's surrounded by 12 different cities, all with Mayan heritage and culture, but also three volcanoes. I'm gonna take you to a few of these cities, so I hope you enjoy. Now to get to Lake Adelon, you have to fly into Guatemala City, then drive three hours up into the mountains until you reach the lake. Now I recommend you stay in Panajacel because it's the easiest city to get to on the lake and it has the most hotels and Airbnbs. Before we got our day started, we found this place called The Little Spoon that had great reviews and a cool rooftop. Ooh, you want to get on the roof? This food was so good, we ended up coming back here three days straight. To go where? Where are we going? Um, San Lucas Laguna. Now at the breakfast, we made our way to the port where we were going to catch a private charter. The first two cities we were going to visit were San Juan and San Pedro. And it was worth the private charter price of 100 USD because they also came with tour guides in these different cities. How you feeling? Getting a little dizzy, but I just took my pills, so yeah. it should be better. And here's a quick tip. If you get seasick, definitely bring some medicine for that because these boats are rocking. So once we got close to San Juan, I had the driver stop so I could pull out the drone and get that epic drone footage. Check this out. Now one thing to note is that the drivers and the tour guides work for the same company. So make sure they have that tourism badge. Welcome to San Juan, Laguna. Welcome, wait, what is it? Welcome to San Juan. San Juan, all right, ready, safe. Welcome to San Juan. And once we got our feet on the ground, we met our tour guide, which set up the first of the different tours that we were gonna take. The first was the Cotton Co-op, where she walked us into a back room and we saw so many beautiful colors and fabrics. And now it was time to see how they were all made. Now one of the most interesting things is how they make the different colors. They basically use either fruits or plants to dye the fabric into these bright colors. Now the next stop on the tour were the coffee shops. And if you drink coffee, then you know that Guatemala produces some of the best coffee okay. in the world. Just ask Starbucks. Coffee with cardamom. Now the next stop was the cacao shop and museum where we got to learn how cacao was made, learned about the history of cacao, and even tried some cacao alcohol. We even got to taste test a little bit as well. fingers <laughs> no that's good yeah. she speaks perfect English number one and so I asked her how do you how do you, you know how's your English so good and she told me who did you listen to music, music. Aerosmith Guns N' Roses basically rock music everywhere I've been all over the world the people who have learned English have learned through music especially rock music so there's something there. Now after a quick dance break, we got to hit up the Mayan honey shops and learn about the history that honey has had within the Mayan culture. Is this, is this your favorite? Oops, honey, acid. What's this? The lemon flower, the lemon honey. That doesn't even taste like honey. Now after all that, it was time to head to the port and head around the cove to San Pedro. That's, That's a wrap, wrap on San Juan. Juan. All right, what's next? Uh, San Pedro. San Pedro is next. Hi guys, welcome to San Pedro. Thank you so much for visiting us. And uh, we are going to be here in the city. We are going to be here in the city. We are going to be here in the city. That's Mayan, but what's the San Pedro in San Pedro? 
Welcome to San Pedro. Now, San Pedro is known for its Mayan culture, its coffee, and its stunning hiking opportunities because of how hilly it is. Sununya. 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 Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then that goes. This gave me a great opportunity to fly my drone, and I even caught the local team playing in a football playoff match. Now after all that, we hit up this place called Sababa for lunch, which had great reviews online. And check out these views. You get to look at Lake Adelon and this backdrop while the sun is setting and having lunch. How insane is that? She got her little bread. The food is a fusion between Guatemalan and Mediterranean cuisine. We are leaving San Pedro, go back to Panajaca for the night. This is just day one. And the benefits of having a private charter is that the captain waits on you for your moves. Buenos dias. And of course we had to come back to the Little Spoon to start our day. So, far. so this is our boat. All right, what's up, y'all? I don't know if you can really hear me, but I'm gonna try this. So we're on our way to Santiago in Lake Adelon. Santiago is the largest city on Lake Adelon and was a key site during the Guatemalan Civil War. It has the most preserved Mayan culture, and it also has ceremonial sites and ancient ruins as well. Skin its birds. Skin its house. Okay, bird house. Yeah. The main street. All the different tuk tuks. San Pedro, right? San Pedro. San Pedro. San Pedro. Not fire volcano. This is the lookout. And everywhere around Lake Adelon, you see the women dressed in traditional Mayan clothing, so I had to go learn about it. 100 birds yeah. total. Double X, XXL. Speak Spanish? Or no, no, sp he speaks a little, not me though. In Santiago, we learned a lot about the Civil War, which addressed inequality and protection of indigenous rights. After that, we made a quick stop at an artisan shop where I purchased a piece for my travel collection. After learning about all the history of Santiago, including the Civil War, the Mayan traditions, it was time to leave and have a little bit of fun. Now we're going to Casa del Mundo. Casa del Mundo. And I'm going to jump into the lake, finally. So, we'll see. Now, Casa del Mundo is a stunning cliffside hotel on Lake Adelon, and it's known as the most beautiful hotel on the lake. It offers breathtaking views, and rooms range from $45 to $95 a night, depending on the room type and season. Yo, gringo bites, though? Probably a quesadilla. Ooh. It's cold, right? Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> now, I said I was going to jump in, but the water was too cold, so this gave me an opportunity to put the drone in the air and capture that cinematic footage. Now this place is so peaceful, we just hung out, relaxed, and waited until the sunset before we headed back to Panahak Hill for our last night on the lake. 
Now, the one thing you wanna make sure of when staying at Lake Adelon is that your Airbnb or hotel has beach access, and our Airbnb actually included kayaks. Check this place out. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And that's a wrap on Lake Atlanta.